Welcome back, folks, to Point Mega Man Legacy Collection here on the Heaven Base X channel. And today, going after Mr. Parker here, Iceman. Seriously, he's wearing a Parker. And he's wearing... This is technically the water theme of the game. Also, the most annoying, but it's show off the power of the Thunder Beam. Yeah, I mentioned before, this game this game is broken if you have the Thunder Beam. Seriously, it goes up and down and it kills practically everything. Also, combined with the uh, pause glitch, it is one, if not the most devastating technique period. So, let's point, let's point this out. Also, you can, this is technically the only water level in the game, but also, this is where the bullshit begins and starts. As you can see, we can freely use the, uh, oops, that was interesting. Anyway, as you can probably tell, title by the title of this chapter. It, this chapter, it, this this part is called the Mr. the Parker, the Parker, and the Texan who shot him. Yeah, it's an inside joke if anyone's never seen Powered Up voice actors and Fireman. Fireman sounds like a Texan, which is kind of fitting, really, considering he, he's on fire, and he just like sounds like a Texan. Seriously, I'm not kidding. If you if you heard the blue freaking. It's just, I don't know who the voice actors are. I don't know who the voice co dubbing companies that did freaking thingamajiggy. Anyway, as your answer is Blue Man Studio, you're correct. Anyway, as I mentioned before, kind of before, the game, this bit is, shit, this stage is piss easy if you have the magnet beam. If you don't have the magnet beam, you're in trouble. But, as you can point out, you can make your own levels. See that? Make your own stages. Now comes this game's most, this level's most infamous theme: introduction of this, these platforms. Every platform has its own particular peril. Gutsman's level, those that flip back conveyor belt. Lexman level, and uh, everything else but that. Lexman, Lexman level, the thunder beam, the thunder obstacles. But here, it's these platforms. And also, if you may have noticed as well, that power-up came back. It did. You're right, it did come back. Also, you can take advantage of the platforms there, and... Well, if you've if you got, if you got uh, life problems, anyway. Anyway, I'm going to so much too for this without talking nonsensical bollocks. That's not, it's not exactly long, it's all the lack of non-content. Good to see you. Anyway, uh, just one point, uh, just one point in town as well. Um, big huge fan of several things that have been happening. Yeah, I'm actually fine, surprisingly enough. Yeah. Okay, so, I don't know why I did that. Anyway, you can take advantage of, well, you can't get, take advantage of the glitch to get to this guy, but you can kill him in five hits. That's the one thing that those things, I, I do not like those guys. Those things are huge. Anyway, as you can see, the Thunder Beam does not diminish after all. It just uses a one bar, but it has so much destructive game built. And now we're going to take advantage of said power of, of, of said glitch by taking out Iceman. Iceman is weak to this weapon. In the uh, Powered Up remake, he is actually weak. They reworked some of the uh, bosses. Um, as you can see, he's dead already. And that was it. And I think I just glitched the game out somewhat. I'm not sure if you can do it, but there you go. I technically glitched it. So, five weapons down, and now we're going to move on to the final boss of the area. Final boss of the uh, game? Fireman. And the reason why I call him Mr. Texan, it, it's his blue, it's his blue, freaking blue ocean voice actor. I can't remember the name, but it is the same character. Mind you, Iceman and a freaking, um, Iceman and freaking uh, Powered Up is actually is actually Goku from Drag from the Blue Ocean dub of Dragon Ball of Dra of the original Dragon Ball. I'm pretty sure not many people know about that. I know for one thing, the car shoes for V8 is X. That he's the last pro he's the last it, X is his last role because, as you can expect, what got cancelled. And also, Sigma is Master Asia. Yeah. You can tell why there's a lot of comparisons in that. Mind you, Blue Ocean's Blue Ocean Dub did actually do the um, Gundam Wing one. Ooh. That was awkward. <coughs> I don't know what that second swallowed. 
Uh, five minutes level. This this stage is piss easy if you have the magnet beam. There's a bit the big obstacle in this game coming up is quite literally the easiest thing in the game. Because see this here? We can cheat this bit. Should we use the magnet beam? But we don't. And now we do. See? The magnet beam is godly in, res in some respects. Not all respects, but some respects. Uh, more nonsense. Yeah, you mean, yeah. For some reason, a blue ocean dub decided it was basically contacted by Capcom on the voice of the stuff in the PSP. The uh, powered up one in particular. And of course, uh, Ma and of course Maverick Hunter X. Maverick Hunter X, as you can easily tell, was uh, voiced by some of the more prominent roles. There are some similarities. Very similarities. For instance, the uh, powered up version of. Uh, the powered, the powered up, the powered up version is Dr. is Dr. The, the voice actor for, for Powered Up, Wily, is the same as Chill Penguins. You can tell by the same voice actor, but I can't remember exactly, but I'm pretty sure it's a very prominent voice actor. I know, I, I know, I know for a fact that, uh, oh yeah. I know, uh, Goku's actor, the, uh, Blue Ocean dub Goku, is Iceman in Powered Up. That I definitely know of. I mean, it, it, you can easily tell it's him. See, right. Now, moving on to the hardest puzzle in the game. This is not even hard. You just use the magnet beam. And there you go. Crisis averted. Everything is fine. The world is saved. There you go. The world is saved. Cue the music. do 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 Yeah. Anyway. This game's interesting, but I'm actually glad that they actually were... I just want to point this out as well. I'm actually glad this is technically 100% accurate. I mean... I mean, yeah, they probably may have used an emulator. Probably got a ROM for it and decided to upscale it, but hey. At least they put fucking F. At least the person who put... The company that did... Ask Capcom to do it? Put bloody F in. Mind you, it is deep frickin'. Mind you, it is the same people that did it... Did ports before. Was it Deep Silver? Something like that? I think it works. Anyway, uh, Portal's glitch also works in this boss in the equation as well. So, and to point, to point this out, it's this stuff that I just pointed out. Anyway, it's just point out. This boss is actually kind of easy, minus the fact that I could be dying to. And I know he died there. So, glad that that's out of the way. Um, Mr. Texan's now dead. And with that, classically, all six bosses are dead. So, this traditionally means we start off on the scale to getting to Wily's Fortress, right? Well, we're gonna wait next part, because I have some choice words about this fucking, these fucking levels. Bye for now.